Hi there, this is Andrea, York with Catch the Fire Worship Flags, and I want to teach you a few things about how to be comfortable starting to use your flags, even if you are a beginner. So the first thing, whether you're a beginner or you've been flagging for a long time, you may not even know this little tip. Number one tip about using the flags with any flagging movement is that everything is a figure eight. So if you think this is a figure eight, right? I'm going over my head and using a figure eight. So it's, it's, it's this motion. Okay, I just and so this is this is a figure eight. It's two going opposite, but they're both figure eights. But I just wanted to give you perhaps two flagging movements that you can start with. And so I'm gonna try to step back so you can see. So the flags are it's a little bit windy. The the flags are gonna start, this is called his banner over me. And so you're gonna have your flag to the side and with your palms kind of facing forward holding on and when you hold on to your flags you're holding on to the flags so that the tail is hanging past where your handle is and with one hand you're always going to have a dominant hand so just so go with that and then practice with your less strong hand so you're going to have your wrist is out you're going to cross your body Okay, so now the back of my palm is facing forward. I'm gonna go over my head, come in and around like this. Now my shoulder is twisted and my hand is twisted and I'll clip. Now that's very slow motion, so you'll do it this way. Okay, and it would be, as you get comfortable, it'll just kind of look like the flow gets a little easier. Okay, so opposite hand, you would do this with your left hand, uh, palms facing out, crossing your body up and over, kind of around behind your head, just where the, the bottom of the pole is kind of just over your head, coming back around, and then flipping. Okay, and doing the twist. Okay, so that's individually. And if you get them going, it looks like this. His banner over me. The other thing uh, I'm going to teach you is the a declaration. So we're going to start with your hands on uh, out to the side. We're going to pull them in in front of us, cross our 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 arms, and go up over our head and back around. That's a declaration. Okay. A double declaration is that you're going to go up here and then back and forth this way. Okay? It's actually like a triple declaration. You got to bring your hands back. <laughs> because the pole is sewn into the flag, the movement is all in the wrist. It's not like uh, a flag that swivels around the pole. So if you go forward, you have to come back. Otherwise, you'll just uh, wrap your hands around. So those are just a couple of moves to get you started. The best tip is really the figure eight and if you get ca ca caught and tumbled into the fabric don't worry everybody starts there. I still get tumbled because there is a lot of fabric that moves around uh, and you just kind of you end up with after some practice just being able to kind of shake it off so if it's all caught up you just kind of shake it off you know they're most likely you're not going to have both flags are going to be doing that and so just shake it off and then carry on i hope that helps i hope that gives you a little bit of confidence look for us in the facebook group there's always going to be more there also in the weekly on the facebook page i try to teach you a little bit something so that you get more comfortable and learn a few more flagging movements until then keep worshiping thanks guys bye